it really ain't that serious. Enjoy the show. <laughs> What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Dodge. And it's the bill. And it's time for some shenanigans. This is the club maker. All right, you guys, we are back. Your favorite boys are here. Hello. Your boy's here, homie. We here, bro. We here, bro. We here, bro. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Y'all know y'all here for the shenanigans. As always, you know what I'm saying? That's why you push that play button. But uh, tell them what we here for. We about to review. Blue oh, yeah. Paws, That's it. Global. All Star, one of them. Drag Race, yeah. Season one, yeah. Episode five. Five. Oh, oh, wow. Episode five, guys. We getting deep up into it, y'all. Whew. The filming is filming, guys. You know what I'm saying? We be doing all this filming and shit that you kind of get a little distracted on what you filming. Hope everybody had a great week so far. So yeah, it's been a good week. Um, a Labor Day. We have everybody had a four day last weekend. Labor Day week. So that means they had a short week this some week. Some people. Yeah, <laughs> some people. Um, shout out to everybody that went to Black Pride and stuff. All the folks that I seen out there and shit. No, I'm just fine. It, it was a, <laughs> it was a global Black Pride this year, I believe. Mm-hmm. So I guess it was all over. I don't know how that worked. Yeah. Was it all over? Global? No, it was Atlanta. But you know, Black Pride is something that each city here in the States do. Um, well, like most major cities. I mean, they be having some little prize, you know, in little small cities that we wouldn't be knowing about, but most major cities Pride do all black over. pride. Country, state, state, cities, all over. It's all over, all over the world. It happens. <laughs> Catch whenever you can. But particularly Atlanta, Black Pride just happened. <laughs> but anyways, so one of the highlights for this Pride was a, oh, yeah. a rapper, NF Chopper? NFE Chopper. NFLE Chopper. <laughs> All right. Okay, you can write after two of them. <laughs> so usually, you know. What happened? So, you know, he performed at a club here. Um, in that to you. What club was he at? The Bank. The Bank? The Bank. The the bank. More like a lounge. Okay. But, you know, they retrofitted it to be, a, I guess, a performance spot Yeah. on this particular night. So, you know, I don't usually go to festivities like this, but, uh, you know, people... <laughs> you know, <laughs> He's so, wondering how he's a word. <laughs> so usually, you know, when individual when this individual performs, you know, they perform in a certain a certain way, you know. They perform with they like a rock star, you know, with your shirt off, dressing the sky, giving no fucks, having a great time. Slut me out, slut me out, is the song correct? Is that the song? Listen. Is that the song? This little boy is old enough to be my song. son. This little boy is old be my son, so I don't listen to his music, so I wouldn't know. Okay. So that, that's the song. Producer, is that the song? If I was a bad if bitch. If I was a bad bitch, I'll fuck me too. I'll fuck me too. Okay. It's the song, all right? So the energy. I feel it was not given at the Like, how was the crowd in there? Like, when he came out on the stage, how was the crowd? Because first of all, you know, I've seen the videos. He came out in a turtleneck, fully clothed. So... Everything just all black down, the you know? The performed unlike what you usually would normally see. You know, they had on a turtleneck summertime. Turtleneck, sweater, all black, yeah. boots, glasses. You know, all that, and then before this individual took stage, you know, they gave a warning, and the warning <laughs> was, "Do not touch the individual on stage," as if the audience were some type of animals or some shit. And this was a oppressor's lamb that had to be protected from. Well, slaughter. I mean, that's what any guest I would hope, you know, do not touch the guests, right? You perform, you can't give depths. <laughs> 
I mean, yeah, yeah, that. But you know okay. how the kids are do, baby. Okay. They get to grabbing that meat, okay? They go for the meat. <laughs> but you know, just in general, though. But I'm sure that specific message just, just should be for it, any just the way performer. it was phrased. You know what I mean? It was right, right, right. Of, exactly. It was kind of. Just, it was you know, undertones to that for sure. Absolutely. Like, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. So you know. Performance happened, you know, I guess it's cool to ha that it happened, I guess. But I would compare it to the equivalent of like a, like a, like a gay bait, like a, one of those, uh, like a, a flat, like a flash man Wade was performing and people went and paid to go see that. At least he gonna give us a little bit of hold though. Like he know what we gonna sign, he he sign up to see. At least like he know what his up. audience wants to see. So Flashman is gonna give you what you want. NLE Chopper, nigga, you know what the fuck your audience wanted, and you came and gave us the opposite. Like all of that gay bait, and you want this and that, and then you get a kid. And so then know, the next day know. they came out with a, uh, a statement. A, a statement. I'm What's coming this? out. Oh no, it was on those, it was just a picture. Before the picture first came, I'm coming out. And then Oh. The but it's a picture well, but he had on it some was the paper magazine shit or whatever. Yeah. But the the whole bait, the whole thing, it's just it's tied, it's played, it's pointless. But listen, a lot of these gays nowadays, of course, you know, they go for the masculine type, you know. But the I'm coming out post over 200 something thousand views for his usual 10,000 likes that he get on any other picture get so he get the bank money and these they be liking that shit too like they be wanting listen they got little Nas X and they want little Nas X you know but they got this well, you know boy. why they don't want little Nas X. yeah cuz he film he dark, dark skin. skin um what else um little Nas X is they don't want they don't want him to be a representative they don't but then they want NLE Chopper and NLE Chopper doing this shit to y'all you know, not giving out what you wanted, but um. But then Lil Nas X. At least X, I didn't go, so. But then Lil Nas X, he working with Camila Cabello, and Who that's is? just bad. What is what she do? She calling Armani at N word. You know what? what? She <laughs> did she? Yeah, we did she call Armani? You know what she did. But I mean, I'm listening to her either, so. But that's neat. Y'all ain't coming here to talk about uh, pop culture. Y'all can't talk came about for? the drag. All size episode five. Let's get off into it. We just he just had to get that off his chest and his back, y'all. But yeah, so anyways, the episode starts off with the girls coming into the workroom, baby. Oh, they happy. And Vandy running, running that bitch. Still here. <laughs> Still here, baby. She made it another day, another day, another dollar to fight to win that money, baby. She's like, I didn't want to have to fight my sister, but <laughs> I was not leaving. I was yeah. not going home. And rightfully so, Vanny destroyed her in that lipstick. She thing. did. Miranda sashayed her ass Miranda away. Miranda went about her business. I really did enjoy Vanny. But story. there was only so much Miranda could do. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's true. That there is, was only so much Miranda could do. That is, at the same time, that is true. There's only so much she could do. So, yeah. so anyways, after the girls came in the workroom, you know what I'm saying, they uh they asked Vanity, I think it was Kitty, Kitty asked, one of them asked Vanity, you know, how does she feel about it, and do you feel like, you know, what well, it should have been another team that should have been in the bottom, and she's like, actually, yeah, I think Alyssa's group should have been in the bottom, for sure. And then Alyssa clutched her pearls and said, well, bitch, if you were tied to your opinion. <laughs> um, looking back at it, right um, you know. they definitely, I think I said it last week. And yeah, it was I all, agree. It, it was, was the, it all, was over, all the over the place. Yeah. The girl group wasn't grouping. Vandy said it felt like uh, it was the Alyssa show. Alyssa was the solo star, and yeah. all of them were backup singers. Vandy yeah. said at least her group looked like a an girl, actual girl group. group. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. Like, if you sing and lead at the time, then okay, fuck it up, do your thing. But when y'all are singing together as a group, then no one should be outdoing the other. It should be levels to it, you know? But then yeah, after that, yeah. And, and then shit after that, Tessa, Tessica said, a pants is like assholes. So let me get my asshole out of these panties. Come on. A penis like I know you my asshole out of these panties. That's what she said. Okay, what does that have to do with opinions though? That's what she said. She's wanted to say asshole and panties. I okay. Think. Okay, Tessa. Said. How old is Tessa? Like 21, 22? She might be young. 
Yeah. Okay. So anyway, the next day, you guys, they come back into the workroom, and you know what I'm saying? The girls, you know, congratulating Kitty again. Kitty like, bitch, y'all, I'm that bitch. I've been telling y'all hoes this shit, okay? So, so Kitty said, you know, I won two in a row. Oh, that's her first win? That's her first win. That's her first win. This her first one, yeah. But she wants something else, and this bitch thinks she's the first front runner. <laughs> I mean, we didn't get there yet, but I mean, you know, I guess we can tell them now. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, uh, it's too late. We are live, baby. This is live TV. This is live TV right now. But um, yes, but you know, they congratulating Kitty and shit, and you know, she doing her thing. And um, you know, Nelania still kind of felt a little a ways about last week because you know the girls was you know and untouched they her had out. some words, words yeah. were said. But you know, Queen Kong and her, you know, Queen Kong, I guess pretty much said that you know if I'll cut you off or if you know if I disrespect you at that time, you know, if I came across like I was, I was mad. mad. Bitch, I was, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I was. But you know, I apologize. I didn't mean to, you know. I want to undermine what you were saying. And I don't want that to affect you right now. You know, we cool, da 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 da, kumbaya, love you much. And what the fuck Soa would ass say? Soa, Soa said that, you know, she don't want to, she don't want nobody to have more privilege than yeah. her. She don't like that. And I didn't understand because what I was thinking, like, I just thought that, like, as all the girls do, they express how they feel, you know, if they lose or they express how they feel if anything is going on with them in the workroom and untucked. And I just thought that everybody did that. And so what made Melania so different when she decided to do that? And everybody's just like, ah, 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 you know? And for Maybe Soa to say it was privilege, it. like, well, how was that privilege though? I was, un I was caught off guard. Let me see the embroidery right. English yeah. not her first language. <laughs> well, I'm like, huh? <laughs> like, I get you, sis. Like, sis, like, these bitches be having a little white privilege. Like, I get that part, but in this sense, it didn't really, you know, wasn't standing. So, I can't back you up on that one. <laughs> but anyway, so after that, Alyssa started talking her shit. Alyssa was like, said, well, you know what? You bitches need to, and then the bell rang, and then. <laughs> No, she, <laughs> I think she was just, you know, I think Alyssa was pretty much trying to justify her ass because last week was not a good week for Alyssa and all the girls saw that. And, um, yeah, she's just pretty much saying like, you know, we're all here, you know, <laughs> like, yes, bitch. Yeah. They, they watching you. You want to RuPaul girls. That's what they were saying on Twitter the other day. That's like, it's nobody else in the workroom that RuPaul sees besides Alyssa and Kitty Scott Claus. <laughs> there was somebody else they put on there too. Pythia. Oh, and Pythia. Who? Oh, and Clay Carr. It was four of them on this little, little thing they did. But yeah, them the four front runners. Maybe. There probably is. Maybe. But anyway, so RuPaul comes out, you guys. Uh, hello, hello, hello. What do you have on? A nice blue, all blue, a nice baby blue. All blue bust down Carl, uh, Carl Kanai suit, y'all. Y'all remember those? <laughs> oh, Carl Kanai. <laughs> but yeah, you know, RuPaul comes out and let the girls know it is mini challenge time. And reading is what? Fundamental. Fundamental. So yeah, it's the annual reading challenge. It's the global all-star reading challenge. So you know. Different cultures are about to try to read each other, so sometimes things not going to mesh. Well, they all speak English. That don't mean shit. <laughs> <laughs> For this reading challenge, it was a fucking hard-ass edit. It was really hard to get into it. This whole episode was a hard edit. I guess maybe, <laughs> maybe these episodes haven't been as long as, you know, a regular episode, but this reading challenge, I could not get a vibe for it. They literally show East Queen do like one read and that was kind of it. So maybe they like realize like once episode five came, they're like, damn, we picked the wrong fucking batch of queens. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> 
How dare you? They like, oh, we didn't pick the wrong bitches. <laughs> hey, anyway, I mean, you said it's a hard edit, so maybe they're just trying to hurry up and get this shit done. Like, For let's hurry up. But no, like. Some people have been saying like this specific season of girl, global all stars like it's just ain't it. Like what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Like y'all don't like this season? They don't like this season. They don't like they don't they always complain every season. Yeah, but some particular they always, be, they always have their mind stuck on shit in the past. They need to let that go. Is it the rules? I think it's the rules. The rules low. I don't know. That's what they said. I have to look. I will have to look into that. But I'm watching and I'm enjoying. So okay. Yes. So anyways, um, like he said, the reading channel was chop chop snip snip. But I mean, I gagged and laughed and like you know. I enjoy um, Alyssa, Alyssa when, when Pythia tried to come for her and she snatched Pythia right back up. I enjoyed that. <laughs> um, um, I enjoyed Kitty. She had me gagging. I enjoyed. I mean, Tessa had me laughing too. A little bit. She went first, so. When Vandy tried to read Tessa, and Tessa was like, hurry up, girl. And, and She's like, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I don't know if that was a reader. That was for real. <laughs> I think that it was for real, and she just lost her joke. That's why she's like, that's it. <laughs> she just lost track of her joke. But, um, yeah, it was, it was poopy. It, it was what it was. It was poopy. But the winner of the maxi challenge, I mean, mini challenge is... Kitty Scott Claus, claws, claws, and I don't care. Kitty Scott Claus, and I don't care. So I guess after this happened, then Kitty said, well, I guess I'm the front runner. There I'm you the go. I'm the only one who has a maxi win and a mini win. So. Yeah, I mean, does that make you the front runner being the front? Oh, I mean, I guess because nobody else does, right? That's what yeah. she said. So there you go. So Kitty, the front runner. And she won that money. Okay, okay, sis. So anyways, after that, RuPaul lets the girls know it's maxi challenge time. And so this week's maxi challenge is a acting challenge, yeah? It's gonna be an acting challenge, booby booby the sequel. Booby booby booby. The sequel, excuse me. Booby 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 booby, booby shaking everywhere. Booby boobies. So to assist with this maxi challenge, Sebastian comes out with his furry pink box. Furry pink box. And all the girls got a dick in his box. And they pull out <coughs> booby dolls. So they pulling out booby dolls that have colors on them, three different colors or whatever. And with these colors, they will be divided Red, up into three and different purple. groups. Yeah, what is it? Red, green, purple? Yeah. Red, green, purple. And whatever, you know, you match with the queen, which doll matches the queen, that's the group you're in. So for uh, Frank and, for the group Frank and Boobies, or the scene Frank and Booby, we got Tessa Testico, Gala, Vero, uh, Vanity, <laughs> Vane, Eva LaQueen. For the Boobies of the Caribbean, or Caribbean, tomato, tomato, however you want to say it, we got So of the Muse, Pythia, and Nahalia. I say Caribbean. Like when we going over there, you you be saying, let's go to the Caribbean, y'all. Like hey, Pirates of the Caribbean. Right, it's Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> let's go to the Caribbean, y'all. Like what? <laughs> this Caribbean, nigga. Caribbean. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> so then for the uh, Jurassic booby, we got some of RuPaul's favorites. Queen Kong. <laughs> Alyssa Edwards <laughs> and Kitty Scott Claw. All the room all famous damn. All on one scene though. <laughs> so those are the groups. Who that tickled me. And yeah, we about to so after that, you know the girls break off into that group and they go rehearse with Michelle Fasage and Jamal, Jamal Sims. Sims. Um, oh, they're not, not rehearsing, they shooting, right? They shooting, yeah, they little scenes and shit, you know. Okay. But I mean, the, um, it went, I'm about to choke. First of all, when Jamal started doing movie scenes, I thought he was a dancer. They ain't doing no dancing. Maybe he do it all, Jamal I Jamal is the global all-star. Okay. Judge. Okay, I mean, I know he just did acting, I mean. Cause that's why we got special guest hosts. Or that's guest right. Judge. I mean. Okay. Carson Cressley. Well, I mean, I technically, I never seen Michelle acting shit, so why she doing it right? I had never seen it, so I could say the same thing about her, so. It's just a thought. 
<laughs> so anyways, I mean, the one that really stood out to me the most was, of course, Alyssa fucking said she'd been extra dramatic and having to keep repeat her lines. And, you know, she just got those big ass Joan Crawford eyes and shit, you know, every time she doing, what she say? This, what she say? What she say, Jokey? Um, she done found out a way how to clone herself. Look up. <laughs> she the fine. She the fine now how to waste <laughs> to claw herself. To claw herself. What, Heidi? <laughs> Listen, it was funny, especially how she kept repeating this. She done found out a way how to claw herself. There you go. But then. <laughs> They don't even use the motherfucker. They didn't? They don't use it. How? How you know they ain't use it? I know. Oh. You they don't use it. You must have watched it on Reddit. So, y'all, he be going ahead on Reddit, y'all. So another another uh, highlight from the uh, filming was uh, Pythia. She was walking that duck. She was having a great time. She was walking that duck, having a great time. Uh, she was naturally funny, enjoyed her a lot. Uh, I thought Gayla was funny. Uh, I mean, and you know, I, I also thought Eva was funny. Like, I like the accent that she's using. Like, she, like, because I kind of, like, turned my head for a second. And then when I heard that voice, and they said, when Michelle was like, Eva, some, 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 I had to turn. Like, bitch, that was Eva talking? I'm going to say when the, Eva came out, Jokey turned to me and said, acting struggle is real. Right <laughs> now, I said, oh. I like the accent that she did. Like, she actually did a, if I was to close my eyes, I wouldn't know it was her. I enjoyed her little dance number. I thought that was great. Yeah, that was cute. It wasn't in the movie. <laughs> it wasn't. See, you keep the guy quit reading ahead on Reddit. I'm going to block you off of there. So... So, um, yeah, so after that, they come back to make up, do they make up and shit's neat, and start talking about life. What they start talking about? And it's pursuit of happiness. They start talking about drag, it's all over the world. Uh, 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 uh. I forgot how it go. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Tamisha, Iman, it's coming for you yeah. to talk to what, what I can do. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's my shit. But um, who was what they was talking about? You said somebody was talking about something up in there. So you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so country, y'all. <laughs> uh, Pythia talked about how she had a falling out with some of her family yeah. member or her parents over. I guess they, they were upset the way she speak about Greece or being gay in Greece. Her experience there and uh. Her, she said that her parents felt like she was ungrateful because, you know, they moved, I guess they moved to Canada for her so she can be, you know, free, I guess. Oh, they, oh, they were talking about, uh, they said, how's drag in your country or being gay in your country? And Pythia said, you know, it's quite progressive. So they were talking about being gay or drag in their countries, per se, like how do people view it or, or whatever the situation may be. So after Pitti was talking about all of that, you know what I'm saying? She was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? My parents ended up watching Drag Race and shit, and then they ended up calling me like, oh my gosh, we understand now. We understand, we understand. your art now. We apologize. We understand. We're so sorry. And we just started crying. We just started crying. Pitti was crying. The parents were crying. Now they're her biggest fans, of course. Y'all know how they go. Why? They want some money. Maybe. That's always how it go, though. Like. Listen, like they religion just be up here, baby. Like I, I'm my religion on the loudest. I cannot accept this shit. Hell no, but baby, when they go on drag race, all of a sudden they mind has changed. Shame. You know when like they be calling and doing like um, you know how like um like the no regular season when they have like a friend or somebody call in or the parents are calling. Do they get paid to do that or they just? No, you're helping out your family member. But what if, but it be some of the parents that be so against it. So that's what I'm saying. Like, do they be paying them to like, you know, send your child a message or what? No, I'm sure. No, I'm sure they just, you just do it. They just do it. Hmm. Just do it. You know, word of wonder ain't paying that much. Very. <laughs> <laughs> <Do it>. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, I'm, I need to know, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Do they get some little stipend or something? Who the, knows? The love of your friend or your family member. Okay. It's payment enough. 
for most, you pay for me. most people. Fuck you pay me. For most people. Okay, but yeah. Um, so who yeah, did they test those little bases there? Or? Anybody else talk about anything important? No. They all kumbaya had a they good time. They all kumbaya had a good time, and Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Alyssa and Queen, you know, they talked about how they felt like they did in the uh, performance, and Alyssa said she felt like they crushed that shit. <laughs> Period. Don't she always feel that way? That's what she felt. You know. And Queen said, Alyssa, girl, you my peer. So, yeah, we can talk about things like that. Well, with that being said, you already know what time it is. It's time to run away, run away, run away. It's time for the runaway, y'all. RuPaul, she coming out. So RuPaul is walking out in the old nasty cape. gold cape, cape baby. get down dress, nasty cape on it. Okay, it's just flowing in the wind as she's coming Looking down. Looking like Starfire Ow. from the boys. Ow. Come on, come on, mother. It's a top, top Starfire mother. Yes, yes. It's not Starfire. What's in her life? Starlight. Okay. Starlight from um the boys. The boys. Oh, is that what her uniform looks like? Pretty much. <laughs> a little more covered up. <laughs> yeah, okay. RuPaul got some arms in his dress. Michelle Bob is bobbing today. It is actually. Okay. And Jamal bald head is bald in the day. Yeah, so I need to get mine like he is. What kind of razor you use? Tell me now. Chic. But um, this category of this uh, runway is Brown Town Town. Brown Town. Michelle Town. She been in that town, bitch. We know. <laughs> You've been in plenty of them. First up coming out is Tessa Tesco. Um, I like the concept of this. I like the big shoulders and the, you know, it's like a sexy auntie, but you know, exaggerated. I like this. This is a top. What you doing with it? Top. Next up, we got Galavaro. I mean, this is like, you know, I hate an old end of the world ass. Oh, I hate an end of the world. Uh, what you call it? Barbarian. You know, I say that all the time. I hate that shit. It so reminds me like of it. Horizon Forbidden West. Chop. Chop. For me. For him. <laughs> Next up is Vanity Vane. I mean, she looks sickening. Okay. She looks stunning, yes. Get into the mug. The mug is mugging. It is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's, that's a transformation, what she do. That bitch is nasty. She go from the stock to the top. Okay. <laughs> top. Top. Yes, yes. And she said it's a homage to the winner of her country. Look at Rue, okay. <laughs> Rue's eating that up. Next up. Eva LaQueen. This ain't no hoe neither. She looks sickening right she here. Okay, that yes, God. Like the wig, the, the mud. Yes. The the jacket. The shoes. The head, okay. The look big as hell, but she ate this look up, okay? Yes, yes. It's a top. She it looks nasty. She do. It's nasty, Stop. LaQueen. Next, Next up, up Pithia. I like it. Um, I just hate the headpiece. I like the face and the headpiece and the, and, the, and the dragon beard. It's a little different, you know, Pythia's dragon's different. It's very taxidermy, like she said. It's a top for me. I um, like I'm gonna top it, it's, it's creative. It is. I'll give her that. This bitch is Next up, Nelania. Yes, got Nelania, come on, bitch, okay? Nelania ate this shit She up. ate this the fuck up. Like, it's bitch, come top. on. Oh, nasty. That wig. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This bitch come be eating. On. Look at the shoes. Come on. Get come on. on. Yes. Come on, Nelania. Yes. Come on, Nahalia. Nahalia. Yes. Them shoes is over. Next up, Sword the Muse. Yes, bitch. Now, this, this is, is what I like, okay? This is fashion. This is sickening, Soa. And she said this is the homage to the first drag queen in America. Yes, I mean this is nasty. The wig is stunning. Look at it. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> yes. It's so fresh in the face. <laughs> I love this. Now, bitch, like gag me like this every time you come out on the runway. She puts me in there. Yeah. Next up, yes, God, Alyssa Edwards. <laughs> Another one. This is sickening. This clock with this finger wave headpiece, like it's expensive. It's immaculate. She spent coin on it. This steampunk. Okay. It's a top. It is. But it's not Alyssa. It's not. Mm -mm. What's Alyssa? That ain't her. 
don't know who that is. <laughs> Next up, Kitty Scott Claus. Chop. This is cute to me. I like Kitty doing a dark hair. Like I've never really seen Kitty do a dark hair, so I can appreciate that. Um, she looked like a. <laughs> it's so pedestrian. <laughs> Compared to all the looks I just seen in a fucking room. You say you tired of her short skirt, so she giving you pants. Top kitty. Chop kitty. Next up, Queen Kong. Top. Um. You look like The Rock. <laughs> okay, right. I'm like, I'm sorry, who does it look like to me? The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh, I guess I'll top this look. Come on, Simona. Simona. Okay. Simona. Samoa. Samoa. Simona. Palomona. Okay. Come on, um, uh, what's mm. her name? <laughs> Queen Kong. Queen Kong. <laughs> I couldn't remember it. So, uh, yeah, so who's your favorite look tonight? Oh, wow. I think mine's got to be between, like, Nelania, oh, the Vanity. Word. Oh, Eva. Oh my god. Like, I really enjoyed their looks. It was some nasty looks. I, this is so many, I can't even tell you. I, mm. Maybe the name Nelania. Okay, so, um, yeah, so let's get off into this um, Booby the Sheikles. Uh, the first group is Frank and Booby, which is, who is this? Tessa, Gala, Vanity, and Eva LaQueen. Action. Action! Oh, is that Vanessa Vanjie? Mattel? That is her word. <laughs> Shakira. Bambi look nice. So Vanity is supposed to be like a Lady Gaga S S character. Tess is supposed to be like Wendy Williams. Right. No, she's supposed to be out the Franken movie. I mean, I think it was really funny. I think was it funny to you? All right. Mm. What? Well, I mean, obviously it was good. Tessa said, "Where's her Oscar?" Next up, second group was Boobies of the Caribbean. We got Sword of Muse, Pythia, and Nah. <laughs> Oh, a girl. Slapping. What's motorboating? You know when you. <laughs> In my country, we don't say that. So, is they gonna take the shirt off and show us their booties? You got your imagination. This is about the booty anyway. If this was Spain, Espana, they would have turned around and showed us the crack. Damn near the hole, okay? <laughs> no, I like that one. I thought that was pretty good. And the last group is the Jurassic Park, Queen Kong, Lissa, and Kitty. Wait, 
girls who wear glasses. <laughs> <laughs> How is he dinosaur? Oh, she ate the key and down. Yeah. He sound like that one guy. So let me see your dick, sir. Sir, I want to see your dick. Your big dick, sir. <laughs> What's that on Instagram or something? You know that boy on Twitter. You know. I sent you his page. <laughs> what? Who you think? That was the performances. Okay. So who's your favorite? Group two. Group two. Who's your favorite? Group three. Group all favorites. <laughs> so the winner of this week, Maxi, Maxi Chai's goes to... Who it go to? Keisha Cole, Queen Kong. Queen. But I mean, they group one, but you know, she was the top of the group. Queen Kong, yep. Queen did it again, y'all. <laughs> so this is her second win or first win? It's like her second win. Is it? Yeah. 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 The first episode. The first episode. First, okay, come on, Queen Kong. So Queen Kong won, and the bottom two of this episode is Galavaro and Eva Laqueen. Eva Laqueen. So Gala is shit that she is. It ain't gonna work. Turn it down. Mm. She should what? That she down. is Tell in me. the bottom because, in wow. her opinion, she did amazing. What she did, you know. She did do the damn thing. So they about to dance to um, Sisters Are Doing It For Themselves by Aretha Franklin. <laughs> they doing respect by Aretha Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> Eva has changed her outfit. This guy looks like I'm keeping it on. This song they doing. I hate this song for them to do. Uh, Take Me On by AHA. Take On Me. Take oh. On Me. Take On Me. This ain't no, this, you don't get it to no drag queens to battle it out to. Right. It ain't no, ain't no highs, ain't no lows for real to like do like anything with it. It's just a steady. Okay, Evil Queen threw her shit off. Okay, she ready. Barely. I mean, I don't like this wig looking like one of the um, barely odd mother godmothers. <laughs> <laughs> Gala. Come on, Boots, with the Mary J. Blige Boots on. Okay, yes. that's what I said. Yes, come on. Yes. <laughs> Nipples hanging out. Titties is all out. Michelle Bob is sickening though. Yes. Okay, come on, wig snatch. She got a wig on, red hair, don't care. But where she pulled the wig off her ass? It's okay, I hate that wig. Oh my god. I don't hate the wig. She should just waited for the moment. Oh my god. Okay, Gala give you oh. a show. Okay, stunts and shows in the back. She want to stay. Yeah, Eva, I don't know what you doing, girl. They doing what they can. This is too much. It wasn't a good song to it. Yeah. Even feeling you better do something. 
That was the lip sync, y'all. Eva said she didn't come all come 30 hours. 30 hours to be sent home on no bullshit. And bitch, that's just what you just did. Cause the winner is Gala. Gala! Gala won! How you feel about it? Um I think what some call it got away with being in that not being in that bottom. Who? Um Tessa ass. Okay. Again. Well, in my opinion, uh I love Eva LaQueen. Um watched her season. Um I'm sad to see her go though, cause I want to see some she more. She wasn't moves. the strongest in the acting. Well, Tessa didn't do much neither, but she wasn't the strongest in the acting challenge. So there you go. I still want to see some more of her, but hey, I guess I just gotta go to Instagram. Yeah, gotta go to Instagram. <laughs> But um, yeah, so that was the episode guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this week's episode. Let us know how you feel down below in the comments. And also remember to share this video with your mama, your daddy, your boy, and your granny. Yeah, right. come on okay. now, come on, cool. come on now. Come All right. Also remember to do what? Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank y'all so much.